Hello everyone and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. Today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Arkham City Joker Sick Variant and Arkham City Riddler. So let's take a look at these cards that they got with them. So first we'll take a look at the Joker. It's a really good picture. Real name unknown. Since his last encounter with the Dark Knight, the Joker has been transferred to the Super Prism Ar Prison Arkham City and is stricken with a serious disease caused by the Titan formula, a potent toxin he secretly funded to be a successor he secretly funded to be a successor to Bane's Venom. That kind of just gives a brief thing of what was going on. That is that is so brief and small. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at our boy, the Joker. First, we'll take a look at his accessories. He comes with um, the bl same, this is literally the same blade as that comes with Ra's al Ghul from Arkham City, the Solomon Grundy build a figure set. Literally the exact same thing, even though the Joker possesses Talia's blade in the game. Because Talia gives you gives him her blade right before she pretty much saves Batman's life. So we got the blade, and we also have this nice little knife. If I can get it out of his hand, this knife. Knife looks a lot better. It's got a nice grip to it. It's got this kind of metallic silver on the blade. It's pretty thick, and it kind of just rests in his hand. He doesn't grip it. I could put it in the grip hand, but I like it in the kind of open hand. It's like, so he can like flourish it. It looks better. All right, let's take a look at him now. So let's look at that face. Man, that is some... It's got like all the blood splotches. I feel like it could have been a little better, like... This part looks really good. This just looks like you got the crap beat out of him, to be honest. And there goes the stand. <laughs> anyway, so he's got a swivel of the bicep. He's got double-jointed elbows, double-jointed knees. He does not have them. Ooh, kind of, yeah. He's got a little bit of a rubber diaper, so he's got the McFarland diaper. Very small one. He's got this rubber material on his torso for his jacket. Also helps with the uh, flails on his coat. Um, he has a chain that is painted, uh, molded and painted in, on there. I like the uh, Arkham Asylum DC Direct one that has an actual metal chain. I believe the Arkham City one did too because the sick variant from, I believe it was San Diego Comic Con. Also had a metal chain. The gloves are pretty good. He looks, he looks, uh, you know, weathered and beaten crap out of. His jacket's a little too clean looking though. But everything else looks all dirty and rusty and nasty. He's pretty good. He's got the toe articulation. This is the sword hand or the blade hand, or the knife hand. This is the hand I like to keep the knife in because it just rests in there nicely. And he also comes with this black DC stand with one peg. Put him back on there. All right, and that is our Joker. So let's take a look at the Riddler's card. All right, our man Edward Nigma from Arkham City. Real name, Edward Nigma. With an obsessive compulsive need for attention, Edward Nigma is determined to be the most outlandish of Gotham City's criminals, concocting elaborate series of clues and riddles around his crimes. Batman has proven a worthy opponent, capable of deducting the Riddler's plans, but Nigma is dedicated to creating a, a mystery the Dark Knight will not be able to solve in time. 
I wish they did a better, like, picture. I, I really wish they did a lot of the, uh, like, black and white pictures from the promotional material for the game. But that's a pretty cool one. So let's take a look at Edward here. I'm not going to take his cane out because it's a little hard to get back in. But he's got a swivel at the bicep. He's got a rubber portion to his tie. This one actually has glasses, even though they're dark, like, sunglasses looking. But they are glasses nonetheless. Unlike the DC Direct one that does not have glasses. His hat does not come off, unlike the DC Direct one. And he doesn't have a riddle on it. Riddler, uh, a question mark on it. He's got a nice big question mark on his back of his jacket. Little question marks molded in, which is fine. It doesn't look bad. I do wish that he colored this in, because he does have, like, that arm patch. It's supposed to be, like, purple and gold, I think. Purple, green, and gold, obviously. The, green, the question mark is green, gold around the edges, and it's supposed to be purple. Uh, he does have a molded question mark on his glove. He does have the McFarlane diaper. He has nice, clean, purple boots that... Yeah, let's take these off. So he's got this black DC single peg stand. He's got foot articulation, double jointed knees. He's got movement at the legs because of the diaper. He does have a rubber portion to his jacket, which helps with the mobility. Double jointed elbows. And his cane's actually pretty good. I like this cane. It's a little warped, but, I mean, most canes and swords and stuff get pretty warped in the package. But I do like it. It looks pretty good. Um, the DC Direct one is better, though. I keep on comparing it to the DC Direct one, but it's like they were more accurate to the games. This is kind of just like a baseline of the figure, and he's really bright. <laughs> For being in a maximum security city prison. Very clean, very clean. But it's a very good figure. I, I'm not knocking the figure. The figure is very good. I like it. He does have a swivel at the head as well. But, and, you know, there are some things they could have improved with. I, I understand the hat not coming off. That was kind of a pain in the ass with the DC Direct one. But, you know, he doesn't look as grubby as he should. But that is okay. Because he is a beautiful figure. I love it. I love both of these figures. I love the Arkham line. So, if you enjoy this, want to see the rest of the Arkham line and many more other things that I have, figures, comics, games, anything like that, like, subscribe, and comment. I look at all comments. And I'll catch you all next time on Marble Man's Game Room. Peace out.